Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. Welcome to the third part of my Minecraft Farms in 3 Minutes series. Now, the next project is a real milestone. It is an iron farm. The design here is by Gnembon. He has made two videos on that and I would strongly recommend you check them out. I usually add my own twists to the farm I built, but on this case I couldn't find anything to improve. His farm is pitch perfect, so I just went ahead and built it. The farm here uses a pillager in the middle and the pillager is pushed, controlled by an etho hopper clock, every 40 seconds so that the villagers are scared and then the villagers will summon iron golems. And since this happens at the same time, we have a pretty good chance of summoning three or even four iron golems at the same time. Now there are a few easier to build iron farms than this. You can check out the design by Ian X04, which basically uses a hole in the ground and will summon an iron golem. But I realized that I need a lot of iron. I have to trade a lot with villagers. I'm also on a server. I'm selling iron. I have used iron as the base of beacons. So I think it's well worth the time to do such a quad core. So each of these four corners has three villagers. They basically constitute a separate unit, so we have four groups that can be scared. And as usual, the iron golems fall into lava 24 blocks below the villagers, so they are not no longer in range. So the countdown to summon the next iron golem starts running. And below that, we have a simple item filter that filters out the poppies. Here for the iron, we now have a shulker box loader. When we built the farm, we started out with just a few double chests, of course. When I built a farm, I built it just a bit differently. So let's switch to our creative world. Usually if you build this at the start of a series, then it's pure luck if you can pacify a pillager. And also you may not have slime to build an ether clock. So here I presented a configuration that I built, which uses two zombies instead. A pillager has a greater scaring range than a zombie, but you can use two zombies right between the villagers and they will also scare the villagers. So just rig a redstone setup so that they pop up at the same time. Now the rates will be a bit lower, but still it's a good iron farm. You can see you get two iron golems here. And as soon as you see the first patrol, you can just put the pillagers in a boat and remove the two holding cells for the zombies and put the pillager in here. Also, if you don't have slime for a hopper clock, then you can basically use any long-running clock. Here I have a fader comparator clock that fires once every 7.5 seconds roughly. And here a pulse extender that makes sure that the zombies are elevated for roughly 2.5 seconds. So you will need a bit of nether quartz, but you don't need any slime. If you can, you should build a hopper clock and avoid that the villagers are scared too often. Because every time the villagers are scared, this creates a bit of lag on the server. So it doesn't make sense to scare them more often than 40 seconds. That's also the reason why I'm not a big fan of designs where they put the zombie or the villager in a bubble column so that it goes up and down because this way the villagers will pretty much constantly be scared and we will have constant lag on the server. If you don't have a lot of villagers, you could also prepare this farm and just bring in three villagers. So three villagers will summon one iron golem so you can always add the other villagers later. I would recommend to invest the time to have a good iron farm. This one here has an output of over a thousand iron ingots per hour, maybe a thousand one hundred, maybe a thousand two hundred, can't say exactly, but in this range. Thanks for watching this third video of Minecraft Farms in three minutes. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment if you have questions, and see you next time. Bye-bye.